Intubation. Let's talk about some of the stuff we have here. The endotracheal tube. The endotracheal tube has got a fixed curvature, a fixed curvature tube. It has some markings in there which kind of tell you how deep you are. Quite nice. It has a nasal oral marking that tells you where you're sort of supposed to be. It has, you can you see this little blue line in here? There's a radio opaque line. Can you see that? And that's to show you where it is when you take the x-ray. All right. At the end of this, it's very important to see that it's got a couple of things. Apart from the cuff that you're going to put up, it's got a beveled edge. Why has it got a beveled edge? Because what sometimes happens is, in that, in that arotenoid cartilages, it sometimes gets caught. So when you put this in, it, you might not be able to push it in. If you ever had a tube like that, you can't push it in. That's because this bit gets caught. But if it was flat, you couldn't do anything about it. But it's beveled, and so little twist and it goes in. Okay, a little twist and it goes in. And at the end of this it's got a little hole, a Murphy's eye. Little hole right on the end of that there. Okay, Ooh, close up. Can you see the hole? Everybody got the hole? That's a Murphy's eye. Murphy's eye is there just in case the ends gets blocked so you can still ventilate through this tube. Really, really important. Now, if you're going to be one of these people that doesn't want to use an introducer, bad. But if you're going to do that, the best way to give yourself the best curvature of the tube, while you're waiting for everything else to be ready, do this to your tube. Just leave it there. Curl it, get your other stuff ready and off you go. That gives it its normal curvature. Okay, best curvature. And gee, if I was putting that in, that's almost at that 35 degree angle, which Dr. Cass really likes, all right? But if I were you, I would put in an introducer. You want to make your life as easy as possible. Introducer goes straight in. The important thing about the introducer is must never protrude past the end. This is a metallic base. Rip your tissues up if you do the wrong thing. And then you put a little bend in it. Nice little bend, about 35 degrees or so, 40 degrees the most. This, and the reason why we put a bend is because the larynx is anterior. So when we put